Hello everyone, welcome back to On The Fly. Today we're going to be taking a look at day six of the Women's World Championship happening in Utica, USA. So we'll hop right onto it today with the scores from today's games, starting off with a one to nothing victory for Germany over Sweden. Now coming into this game, if it would have stayed in regulation, the winner of this game would have won Group B, got to play the easier seed, which would have been the three seed in Group A. So lots to play for in this one, and it was a tight checking game throughout the entire game. You can see it was a one nothing final. We see a lot of one nothing finals today, but at the same time, the trick to this one was, you know, it was a big game. Both teams really playing for their shot at making it to the semifinals. Because when you look at it, if you're a set, if you're sort of that second and third team in Group B, you're gonna have to play a team like the U.S. or Canada and they tend to get beat pretty badly whenever you play a team like the U.S. or Canada. So with that being said, lots to play for in this one, and it was a tight checking game throughout. one nothing is your final 32, sh 32 shots save shutout for Sandra Abstrider for Germany. A huge game for her. She stood on her head. Both goalies did, to be honest, but Abstrider really, really took that, extra, that, that next level. Took Germany to victory in this one, and I, I believe it was the first time in I think it was six years that Germany's beaten Sweden to win the top group. So it's a big, big deal for Germany. They're going to get to play the lower of the seeds, and we'll talk about that in just a little bit of who that might be. But we'll move it along here to the second game of the day, and this game was highlighted by a little bit of uh, of a sun. It's something called the eclipse. If you haven't heard about it, basically the moon goes in front of the sun, looks kind of cool. You wear these funky glasses and you look up at it. So that was what happened in the first game. And we'll take them off now because let's be honest here. That's the whole fun of it. You wear it for a little bit and you take them off. But with that being said, big game here between Finland and Switzerland, not too much impact on the standings, but really just to sort of see, it looks as if it'll be a tune up for the quarterfinals between that fourth and fifth seed in Group A. Both these teams, as of right now, are, are, look, are looking like they'll be there. We'll talk about the what-ifs for that a little bit later. But between these two teams, you know, the Finns looked really good today. Um, the goaltender, Brandley, for Switzerland looked decent, I'd say, for the most part. You know, she's played outstanding this entire tournament. She looked decent today. I wouldn't say she was at her best, but at the same time, decent enough that it was it, it was a good effort, right? And we're not looking for anything too special out of the goaltenders, especially in Group A, where normally you have that team in front of you. But at the end of the day, you know, Switzerland just got beat today, pretty, just got beat, you know, and there's not much more to talk about there. Finland beats Switzerland 5-2 to two is your final. And then, um, well, they're going to talk about the next game between, you know, the U.S. and Canada. And uh, yeah, you can see it. I don't want to say the score. I mean, let's be honest here. Really? There was a trip at the end. I'm going to be the whiny Canada fan. But of course, it was a good game. You know, we started off with a massive hit by Renata Fast. And you knew from there on out, this game was going to be a rough one. Probably the most violent hockey game I've seen in the women's game. And can't remember how long. Probably ever in my, in my opinion, it was probably the most violent hockey game I've ever seen. It's a pleasure to cover it on Twitter. If you haven't already, be sure to follow us on Twitter at, at OnTheFly1515. But at the same time, this game was a violent one. one nothing was your final in overtime. Kirsten Sims with the game winner for the U.S. And De both goalies, you know, Debian stood on her head for Canada, just sort of got beat on that last one. The U.S. goaltender too. Both goalies stood on their head tonight. Just a matter of who ended up getting the game winner, and that was, that was the U.S. It was a bad trip right at the end. Came down three on one, can't do much on a screenshot, and that, that was your game, right? one nothing final for the U.S. over Canada in this one. But with that being said, I'll move it along here to the news from today. So we'll start off here with Germany being the Group B winner, which is big for them. Obviously, have, getting to play the easier seed, not having to go through Canada or the U.S. to make it to the quarterfinals, that's a big deal for them. As for Sweden, Sweden's looked really good in this tournament. They'll have to play a really tough matchup against Canada. Do I think they can beat them? No. But, you know, that's the nice thing about hockey is it's never a predetermined result. If you would have asked me yesterday, and I, I'm pretty sure I said it on, on, on the recap video, if I thought that Germany could beat Sweden, no. But that's why we keep playing hockey, because it's fun and anybody can really win. So that being said, lots to play for there. As you said, Sweden's Group B number two. For the U.S., they are the Group A winner. The winner of that game would have basically won Group A. Top seed there gets to play the lower, that third seed in Group B. So a little bit to play for there. You know, it's between in terms of Canada and the U.S., they won't have too much problem with Group B. I'm going to knock on wood for that one. 
but of course, and for Canada, grrr, that's how we're, I think we're all feeling right now after the loss to the U.S. There's no team we hate losing more than to the U.S., but luckily it's only preliminary round, which means that there's plenty more hockey to play. There's a nice little gold medal rematch that's going to be coming up, and we all know who's going to win that one. So be sure to come back and tell me that I'm wrong in like a, in like a week, right? So not too much to worry about there. And then, of course, the Eclipse was the big sort of storyline coming off the first period of the Finland-Switzerland game. So, you know, kind of fun on that account. Something that doesn't happen very often, but kind of cool that it's happening. There's lots of news going on in the IHF today. So that being said, the Eclipse happened today as well. And now we'll move it on to back to the hockey with some Group A and Group B standings. Starting off in Group A, we have the U.S. in first place, 11 points. We have Canada in second with 10 points. Czechs in third place with three points. Remember that the head-to-head, -head, they will rank higher than Finland, as well as Finland in fourth place. And then lastly, Switzerland in last place with no points in Group A. As for Group B, we have Germany in first place with nine points. Sweden is also in second place with nine points as well. Remember, head-to-head -head is how they determine that tiebreaker. Germany beats Sweden, therefore they are ahead and they, Germany gets that top spot. As well as China is in third place with three points. Denmark in, in fourth place with two points. And lastly, Japan in that last fifth spot in last place in Group B. But there is still room for Japan to come back. Remember, the bottom two teams at this tournament will be relegated no matter what. So be sure you know, to, to keep sort of a note of that. Um, and we'll flip it over here right now to the playoffs of what's going to be looking like here. Remember that they will get reseeded after that first quarterfinal round. So basically the worst team will play the best team and the other two and three will play in there. But the trick is, you know, everything's going to get reseeded. So when we look at the quarterfinals, we have the U.S. in that A1 spot. They'll play B3, who's a third place in Group B. A3 will play Germany, who's that B1. And as well, Canada and Sweden will play. That's the set quarterfinal. That's the second place in Group A, second place in Group B, as well as A4 and A5 still have yet to be determined. All three bottom slots in Group A, which we'll get to in a second here, have not been determined. As for Group B, only that bottom spot has not been determined yet. And we'll flip it over here now to the games coming up tomorrow. Lots of hockey and really, really important games. So it's going to be a great day of hockey. We'll start it off here on, at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time between Germany and China. We'll get to the importance of those games in just a second. Czechs and Swiss are at 3. And lastly, 7 o'clock is your headliner between Japan and Denmark. Now let's talk about the what-ifs. We talked about the Group B ones yesterday. We'll, we'll just run through them real quick. If you want to check it out, link can be found in the description below, and you can see sort of the full explanation. But we'll start off here. So if China wins their 11, 11 a.m. game, then in regulation, it's over. Japan and Denmark will both be relegated. If Denmark wins in any fashion tomorrow and China loses in any fashion tomorrow, both China and Japan will be relegated. If Japan wins in regulation and China loses in regulation, then both China and Denmark will both be relegated. And, of course, the winners of these games, the team that's listed on the far left, will move on to the quarters. Then let's take a look now at the overtime scenarios. And this is where we get into our three-way ties. So if Japan wins one to nothing or two to nothing, both Denmark and Japan will both be relegated, assuming China loses in regulation. If Japan wins in overtime and China three to two or more or four to three or five to four, whatever it might be, as long as they can score three or more goals, then they will move on to the quarters. So for Japan, they're trying to score as many goals tomorrow as possible, which has been a real struggle for them. So that might be a problem. But of course, time will tell there. They are up against a little bit of an easier opponent in Denmark. They've sort of shown a little bit of struggle to keep the puck out of their net. So it will be a, I, what I presume to be at least a high scoring game. Denmark is just looking for a win in this one. So definitely stay tuned for that. And also be sure to follow us on Twitter. We'll have up to date sort of what you're looking for in each game. So of course, you know, if you want to get live updates, that's where you'll find us is on Twitter. And now let's flip over to the Group A. And this is one we haven't quite talked about, so I'll walk you through it here. Starting off with the what if, so remember there's one game tomorrow, it's between the Czechs and the Swiss. And this is a really important game for Group A, as the winner, whoever wins that Group A, will get to play the B B1 team, which is Germany. And what we're looking at right now is Czechia in first place. Remember, they beat Finland 4 to nothing, as well as the Finland-Switzerland game between those two teams. You know, Finland beat Switzerland 5-2. to two. So in the, in the event that there's a three-way tie tomorrow, say Switzerland wins 
Switzerland wins. If they can score four, if they can beat uh, Czechia by four or more goals tomorrow, they will move on to that third spot. Czechia will be the fourth and fifth spot for Finland. So if Czechia and Finland will play in that quarterfinal, as well as Germany will play Switzerland. If Switzerland can beat Czechia by four goals or more, if anything else happens, if, for example, Czechs win, they'll move on. They'll be that top, that third spot in Group A. They'll play the top spot in Group B. And, you know, if, if Switzerland doesn't beat Czechia by four goals or more, then they'll just play that 4v5. So lots to play for tomorrow. Come back. We'll have it all broken down for you. We'll have a full quarterfinal preview, which I think might be coming a little bit later. We're trying to just work through a collab right now, but we'll keep you posted on that. But with that being said, if you made it this far in the video, thank you for watching. If you'd like to drop a like, if you really like, if you're subscribing, tell all your friends you can comment down below your thoughts on day six of the Women's World Championship. Until next time, see you.